Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a quick reading on timing. Now I'm gonna approach timing a bit differently because tarot and time, as you know, is a bit fluid. So instead of looking at a specific date or month, I will either be looking at what's gonna be happening in your life around that moment, or if I'll see a season of a year, I'm going to let you know. So pile number one, is here. That's pile number two. Pile number three. Pile number four. Pile number five. And pile number six. So take a moment. Stop the video right here if you need some more time and I'm going to catch you in timestamps. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one, so I hope you have your question ready. Let's see. When is this event will take place? We have the temperance as well as the page of pentacles. I'm going to be reading purely intuitively and I think I'm going to include channeling together with that too. So it's going to be around the time when you either will be, guys, super balanced you're going to be in a really really good place emotionally um as well as for some others of you it's going to be around a time when you'll decide to learn something new or you will be studying or researching something so we're very focused on your own growth here what i'm seeing when it comes to the seasons of a year i'd say that can either be around yeah mostly for a lot of you this is around autumn time for one or two, this can be springtime. But overall with the temperance, uh, what I'm picking up here, it seems like there will be a shift. Um, almost like you're waiting for something to happen, but then you let it go. You're like, okay, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna focus on something that I wanna learn more or educate myself about. It's almost like you're digging really deep into maybe a talent or you wanna learn from someone Maybe you're gonna to decide to take some kind of a course and that's when this event will take place. So I hope that this made sense guys and I hope some of you can already make sense of more or less when this will happen. For others of you, because this is a future event, it might not make sense to you straight away, but hopefully this has given you an indication and you've kind of picked up this message But I hope that this has given you an indication when this event will take place. Let's get to pile number two. All right, pile number two, people. Let's see. You've got the King of Pentacles as well as the Five of Cups. So as I said in the intro, I'm going to be reading these cards um, a bit differently when it comes to timing. This will be talking about... Um, where you'll be at around that time when this event will take place, whatever you're asking about. I'll be channeling as well as um, incorporating the messages from the cards. Now, for you guys, um, it does seem like you're super patient people here. And for a lot of you, don't mind waiting. It's almost like some of you have clicked just out of curiosity. This will be around a time when you're going to be very secure especially financially when it comes to your material gain. Um, I'm seeing that some of you might be going through something almost like you will be reviewing your life. You will have achieved some kind of a goal that has a connection with your finances, your stability, your work. Uh, but at the same time, like there's something lacking uh, for me emotionally and you'll be reviewing your life. What do I want to do for myself so that I can make um, myself a bit happier day to day? Because it seems like some kind of goal, it won't make you happy anymore. And this is normal. One goal finishes, right? You, you get to the end line, finish line, and that's when you're like, okay, there's going to be a new goal. So it seems like you'll be trying to find ways of how to be happy here and now with what you have. When it comes to time of a year, this will either be spring I'm getting or summertime. For a couple of you, this can be autumn time overall um it does seem like you guys don't mind waiting um and allowing everything to 
almost like unfold organically and with the king of pentacles you know pentacles are not the fastest mover um you will need a, a little bit more time and this king is wearing a watch as well if you see that over here and he's very peaceful he's like listen look what i've built for myself you know and you're gonna be feeling emotionally um a bit maybe you're gonna be looking for some kind of fulfillment but it seems like a hobby of some sort or so a craft where you'll want to pour your heart into something and you have it all here it seems like you feel peaceful but emotionally there is something there that you want to do uh, for some of you this can be around a time when you might uh, be either in going through some kind of change in your relationship if you are single right now, there might be a situation where you meet someone and maybe it doesn't go the exact way as you planned it, but it's almost like this is the way that it has to be. It's going to bring something out of you. At first, you might be a bit like feeling a bit meh about it, but it's going to bring something out of you that you need it. A connection will take place. Now, for a couple of you out there, please choose your scenario. A lot of people watching. There is gonna be around it, it's gonna be around the time when you'll decide to uh, review your relationship with your dad. You might be willing to go back to childhood traumas of some sort, or you will want to make that relationship a bit more stable or improve it. So I hope that this made sense, pile number two. Let's get to pile number three. Okay, pile number three, we have the page of wands as well as the eight of swords. Mm-hmm, interesting. This event situation will take place around a time when you'll be coming out of a moment of almost, I want to say, stagnancy. Um, you taking control of your own happiness. So... You might either find yourself, I don't know why I'm picking this up, I'm channeling halfway here. Um, either you'll be traveling or you will, you will feel really free or there will be some kind of a connection to music. So maybe the project of some sort that you will be working on, there will be music included. But for a lot of you, I keep getting travel vibes. You feel really free. There's that sense of freedom here. A bit of a hippie style I'm seeing so whatever you're asking about here it can be happening around the time when you're breaking free from something something that has held you back for some of you this might be your own mind some of you maybe knew that you had to um, spend a bit more time to be with yourself and to get your thoughts together before before moving on so it doesn't necessarily mean that um, you were stuck maybe some people have held themselves back from something and um afterwards they decide hey you know what i actually wanna it's you know what i'm feeling here it's like you know that you have to be um patient with yourself and you're gonna try and approach that um waiting game i'm hearing as gracefully as you can and for a lot of you that um stand still will actually benefit you because I'm, I'm seeing a vision of someone's uh, brain and there is a lot of numbers and letters and you're going to be almost like putting them all in line and once you do that that's when this event will take place so it's really personal the situation is really personal i hope for some of you this is already making sense what i'm hinting at um because this is the future base reading especially timing involved uh, for some of you this might not ring a bell just yet and that's okay um now i have a it's like a black and white energy here so i cannot put you guys in a box here for some of you when when we'd be talking about time of a year this will be summertime the weather is warm it's really nice out there for others of you, um, it's going to be around winter time. That's why it's very, this, this pile is a bit conflicting. Um, so when I say summertime, uh, try and feel. How does your body feel about it? Do you feel like you want to push back? How does it feel when you hear winter time? Does it feel like you're being drawn to it or does your body want to push back? So that's how intuition works, right? You're either being drawn to the message of summer or winter. 
and that's your clue. So I hope that this made sense, pile number three. Let's get to pile number four. I wanted to say as well, maybe for some of you, you have picked one more pile or you came after another pile here. I don't know why I'm sensing that. Okay, pile number four. Let's see what we got here. We have the realization as well as the fall. Ooh, this is interesting. This will take place for some of you with the next awakening. Some of you will decide to do something that um, takes you out of your comfort zone. You won't overthink the situation. There is some kind of a decision that you'll be making that you'll feel like, oh my God, what am I doing? But I feel like I need to step there. I need to step into the unknown. So for some of you, it can be you know, a massive change that you're a leap of faith that you're taking in your life. But first, what you're gonna be going through, it's almost like there will be a time um, of rejuvenation as well as energetic growth I'm hearing here. Around that time, I'm being very specific with this one here, so please choose if that's yours or not. You might start seeing messages or symbols of a ship. For others of you, Phoenix will mean something very important around the time when this event will take place, whatever you're asking about. You will decide to be fearless. There was something that you, you kept thinking about, but maybe you thought, you know, it's not the right time just yet. And once you'll be taking that leap of faith and you'll be like, listen, I gotta do this. I still wanna do something. So this, this shouldn't be new to you. You know, whatever you wanna achieve here, wherever you wanna step into and you don't know how it's gonna pan out, uh, this shouldn't be new to you, thought of it before. And this is gonna be happening around the time when you'll decide to take one step forward. Um, for some of you, it can be in the midst of move of some sort. In the midst of a move. But overall, you guys, it will be around that time very focused on your own growth. So either you're going to be drawn to energetic healings, spirituality much more than before, but it's all to do with self. I want to heal myself. I want to work on myself. And then I'm going to take that step forward. So I hope that this made sense, pile number four. And um, some of the messages might not make sense to you just yet because we're talking about the future. But hopefully this um, has been insightful. Pile number five. Let's see. Ooh, what the energy we've got here. We have the tower as well as the five of wands. When will this take place? Um, you know, guys, what I want to tell you, you won't see it coming. It's going to happen out of the blue. You will probably have forgotten about something by that time that you wanted something or you've asked this question. And it's almost like, you know, I'm seeing a vision of someone writing something down in a book, uh, some sort of a goal or what they want to achieve or a person that they want to meet and they forget about it. And when it happens, it happens out of the blue at the most unexpected moment when you didn't even think about it. And afterwards, you find that note or that notepad where you were actually wishing for that. And this is going to be super surprising. So I believe that some of you already have this written down in your book, <laughs> you know, or your notepad. That's something that I want. But universe, God, whatever you believe in, wants you to be surprised. But it's a good surprise. Um, around that time, you're going to feel very passionate about something for some of you you might be drawn to a specific location or place where there is a lot of fire so maybe around bonfire night i'm getting for some of you or um, for others this has a connection to um almost like an energy boost you will be very motivated as well as almost like you will be attracting a lot, a lot of people around you at that time. And I'm hearing all eyes are on you. Sorry, I'm half channeling, half looking at the cards, okay? So I'm trying to make sense of my visions. You're going to be attracting a lot of people. And um, suddenly, 
you're gonna realize that everything is it's almost like it's not only gonna be one surprise there will be a couple but it starts small and then whatever you're asking about it's gonna hit you out of nowhere and I think for some of you the way you imagine the situation to unfold or maybe w with whom um, <laughs> the universe or God whatever you believe in will surprise you with either something new or someone new I don't know what you're asking about but it seems like there is that surprise factor here for some of you this might be around a time when your life will be completely changed so something unexpected will happen where you're going to be like, whoa, you know, this happened. I never saw it coming and bang. And that's whatever you're seeking for here, whatever you're curious about. Let's say if that's a new job you want to get. It's probably going to happen around that time. You might hear from someone or someone will appear in your life. And um, I'm hearing in the midst of chaos, you know, there is so much happening and you need to get a lot done i'm hearing you're gonna be probably really busy around that time either in your head or what needs to get done and that's why i think you won't see it coming because your focus will be somewhere else <laughs> so i hope this made sense for number five i know that for some of you because we're talking about the future event it might not ring a bell just yet because ego knows just so much okay pile number six let's see oh look what what a feminine energy here how nice queen of cups the empress okay first of all what's gonna be really important to you around that moment when this will take place is summertime warm weather and you're gonna be very um i'm hearing alluring to other people other people will see you very abundant in as if you have it all even if that's not necessarily the case but we can't change other people's perception on us right and especially at the beginning afterwards if you communicate with them that's that's possible but the way other people see us sometimes doesn't really reflect of how, who we truly are and here it does seem like someone will put you on a pedestal you will have achieved something that might have been impossible in other people's eyes for some of you, now choose which scenario is yours. You will be taking care of your health much more. And I'm seeing that maybe some of you have some kind of a chronic illness. I'm only talking to those. You will be break free from it. And I'm hearing a couple of people will be asking you, how did you do that? So whatever you're asking about, it might take place around the time when you're breaking free from something. And you feel really clear. You feel really light energetically as well as physically. When it comes to seasons, I'd say spring slash summertime. There might be a female who will be really close to you and really important in your life. And a couple of others of you, this will take place around the time when you are pregnant. But overall, really nice vibe. Really nice vibe. It's almost like... Um, around that time, you kind of have it all for yourself. And there is that sense of pride. You're really humble and you're very serene. So I hope that this made sense, pile number six. I know that ego knows so much, so some of the messages might not make sense to you just yet because we're talking about the future, but I hope this was in insightful. Tribe, thank you very much for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.